Good morning, everybody. This is Grant Russell coming to you live here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. Hope, hope everybody's doing well. Um, have the pleasure of uh, showing off a beautiful 2022 Supreme Air today that um, some customers, they just paid for it. It's theirs. They're, they're going to be picking up here in a few weeks, but um, kind of nice opportunity just to, to show a Supreme Air. And uh, it's a bath and a half, 45, 73 floor plan. Uh, and, and again, this, this shot of this coach you're seeing, this is a special exterior paint that they ordered it with. Absolutely gorgeous. I uh, wanted to just mention that. So they do offer to uh, do custom colors. They won't change the graphics, but they'll change the, uh, they can change the colors for you if you choose on an order. So um, why don't we start, come around this way and we'll begin over at the engine area on the uh, driver's side. As you're coming across the shot here, you notice there's a camera on the front of this. On the front there, there's a camera right above the Newmar emblem. So this does come equipped with the 360 camera view. They'll have different cameras around the coach to give you that kind of bird's eye view. I've got it unlatched at the moment, so I'm gonna open this up. See how easy that is to open up. All Supreme Airs are gonna be built with, built on the M2112 chassis. Comes with a 505 DD13 Detroit engine. Uh, that Detroit has 1,850 pound-foot of torque. It'll tow up to 20,000 pounds. Being a front-engine Super C motorhome, those that do any kind of work on their own coaches, it's very easy to access everything in here on both sides. Um, and uh, you know something else that you could you could think of on a safety standpoint. There's a lot more in front of you. Not that you ever want to get into an accident, but it is. Uh, uh, it's, you've got a lot lot more room in front of you when you're going down the road. Close this back. It's got a little soft close on it. <clears throat> we do have, um, coming down the way here, you've got side cameras. When you turn your signal on, it's going to give you bind spot on both sides of the coach. And this first First bay here, you can, can see the 100, and gal 100 gallon fuel tank in there. The second bay, you can see the def, that's your def tank. And then there's, that's where your chassis batteries are gonna be located, right in here. And then down in this fourth bay here, we've got the house batteries. So you've got eight AGM batteries on a slide tray there. And that, uh, this does have a 3000 watt inverter, uh, which I think we're getting down to that one. Yeah, right next, next bay here. 3000 watt inverter. That cord you're seeing here is gonna be 50 feet. It's got a 50 feet, 50 amp power cord. You're somewhere in Pedestal is a long reach, that usually will reach it. It's a nice, good long cord. Next bay here, we've got your dump station. We've got um, whole house water filtration system, outside shower. If you notice in here, we've got electric tank. Get, these are your black water and your gray water dump valves. You have um, by the way, speaking of water, so you have 150 gallons of fresh water. And then you can notice over here on this little touch screen panel, um, you, I mean, right now it's showing you the levels. We've got zero water, zero black, zero gray, but this is just your, this is also where you can turn your pump on and off, some light controls, and also your generator controls. Um, it does have a macerator dump, so this has a an actual uh, the RV SantaCon system here. When you dump your black water, it, it will pump your water. So if you did need to pump your water, say uphill, you could use that hose. And then it's also where your fresh water hose is located. And that's also on a power reel. So the 50 foot, 50 amp power cord is on a power reel and the water hose is too. Docking lights. You've got twin drive axle here on the rear. So you've got 
eight tires on the road here. Two up front, eight on the back, you got 10 tires on the road. Generator is 12,500 uh, kilowatts. That'll run everything on it. You got three air conditioners. It's an all electric coach, convection microwave oven, all electric residential refrigerator. When we go inside, I'll uh, point out the uh, appliances. And then back here in the back, you notice we've got pass through storage here. And around the back, got this opened up here so you've got some more storage that goes all the way back here it goes a good I'm gonna guess it looks like about I don't know eight feet in there close this up you got a 20,000 pound hitch on the on the rear you have a Voyager plug there for a camera if you've got a camera on your trailer or a camera inside your trailer um, you can actually toggle back and forth between the actual camera on the coach and a, and a camera on your tow vehicle if you have one if you step back a little bit you can get a good shot of these awnings so these have the um, the Gerard Nova awnings is what the, the name of these are so they have that pitch halfway out they pitch down it gives you some really nice shade coverage out here with the awnings out plus you notice those LED lights that run down the length of the awning and you also have I don't have them on right now but underneath these slide outs there's some LED lights just like we have in the awnings again opposite side of the pass-through storage and that bag you see there does come with a central vacuum kit Again, some more pass-through storage. So this bay here, behind this pegboard, it's just a little extra storage for smaller items, but your 150-gallon fresh water tank is behind this. So that's where the low point drain is to drain the fresh water for winterizing. And this is where the uh, hydronic heat lo is located. So you've got two electric elements and then also your diesel burner. Uh, so this system is what heats the coach um, using the diesel bo boiler or using the two electric elements that are available. And you see the hydraulics. So this has uh, hydraulic leveling jacks as well as um, your, your, some of your slide outs are also hydraulic. And we got some extra storage on these two bays for the patio side. Forty-three inch LED Samsung TV with sound bar. You've got a Bose sound bar below there. And these TVs will pull out. And they do angle down. Get the glare off the TV. another storage compartment here we've got some hydraulic steps so as this coach levels and goes up and down these steps make it nice gradual entrance going in and out of the coach also so with these steps going up at an angle there um, these don't lift but you do have an actual step cover that comes out and raises up so that gives it makes the floor nice and flush right there and then you notice right here at the entrance We've got a, a keypad that you can use to unlock the entrance door here and all your compartments. You also, it also comes with a couple of key fobs that you can lock and unlock the coach with as well. Come on inside. Okay, so we're in a 4573 floor plan. 2022 Supreme Air. Uh, this floor plan is still being built moving forward into 2023. So it, um, the, the, the cabinet colors you're seeing in here 
or the Bermuda glazed with the matte finish. There's four different cabinet colors you can get with the Supreme Air and uh, with matte finish or with the high gloss finish. You notice over here off to the side, we've got a 55 inch Samsung LED smart TV and above, you got the nice big Bose system here and then all your overhead storage. It's actually pre-wired. It is pre-wired for satellite. <clears throat> I believe these folks ordered it without. They're going to use the new Starlink system that's out there. Everybody's been raving about. So coming down in the kitchen area, we've got the Whirlpool convection microwave oven. We have induction cooktop. That's something New Martha's been doing for years. This is the removable cooktop, so this does come out. If you want to take it outside and cook outdoors, you can. And on the flip side of these, you've got some cutting boards. Full extension drawer glides on all your drawers. Dishwasher is an option this did come with. Um, nice big stainless steel dual sinks. Um, there are sink covers. I, just, I left them down below just to show you there is some storage down here. So when you're actually using, say, the cooktop, or the kitchen sink and get them out of the way and store them down below. Every RV needs a trash can, so you got a little pull out with the trash can there, but some nice pull outs here for storage. If you notice as I'm closing these cabinet doors, they're all on the soft close as well as your drawer guides. And you got a nice pull out here as well. And come around on this side, we've got, well, we'll start right, since we're in the kitchen area, we've got the Whirlpool all-electric refrigerator, ice maker down below, and then this floor plan is going to give you a nice big pantry, so you push to release on these drawers. And that's pretty sweet how, um, I don't know if you noticed that, Jody, but just, it's, it's got the little automatic light. So when you open this up, it automatically shuts it off too when you close it down there. And then uh, we've got this, there's different options you can get on most Newmar motorhomes. This particular one got the uh, kind of the ensemble dinette package. So we've got an expandable Euro dinette. So this does pull out. It has a leg that pops down here. I've got two leafs. They can fit in place there. They're under the bed at the moment. And there's two extra folding chairs. So if you have company with you, it gives you, gives you some extra, extra seating there. And then they got the J Lounge sofa here. And then this sofa across from the J Lounge is going to be, let's see if it is. I think this is a permanent sofa here with the drawer below. I believe. Yeah. Yeah, so we got a permanent sofa because this folds this sofa over here comes out and becomes your sleeper sofa. So this is your permanent sofa with a little drawer below. Okay. Come on back to the back. We've got your half bath, and in the half bath, I always like to show this and open this up. So your house breakers and fuses, all the electrical is wired. Everything's in in this half bath. Typically on the half bath, bath and a half floor plans. It's out of reach from children. You're not having to crawl up under a bed, run slides out to get to anything. It's very easy to access. Move around to the back, we've got a king size bed with 
with the lift assist, it's very easy to lift up. As you can see where the two folding chairs are I mentioned earlier, and the two leafs. This did get the optional sleep number bit, uh, mattress. These come standard with a pillow top mattress, but you can order them with the sleep number if you'd like. And then across from the bed, we've got some good wardrobe storage. And you'll have five big drawers that so this opens up here. All these are full extensions. You've got some nice big deep drawers. The reason I didn't open this one here, this is going to pop down. That's where you can install game system, satellite receivers, anything tied into the television in the bedroom. The bedroom has a 43 inch Samsung smart LED TV. Come around to the back, we've got the master bath, stackable washer dryer, Notice behind the toilet here, we've got an escape door. So this will open up. It's just an emergency exit with a ladder that comes out. And then we have your, I'll open this up here. You got your pretty good size shower. I'm six foot two, got lots of elbow room, nice big shower. And this is, you got a, you do have a shower head here. Um, this has the AquaView water saver, so it will, th that way if you dry camp, you're not wasting your hot water. Um, it does have that feature. And then right here is going to be some good storage. You can see you got a safe, three nice sized drawers down below. And if you pan over below the sink there, you do have, have some additional Nice storage for the bathroom area. All right, moving back to the bedroom area. I was just going to point this out. So you do have um, Supreme Areas are come equipped with, with Silverleaf. Silverleaf is a system used on the upper end coaches, the Mountain Airs, London Airs, Essex, King Airs use it. The new air uses it, so does the Supreme Air. So everything is built into one panel here. Um, so your home, it's on the home screen here. I can see my water levels, my battery levels, how much how much amperage is being pulled um, on what on leg one and two. AC, you can check on your uh, different AC power. Your inverter is going to be located in here as well to turn it on and off. Your generator controls are here, your water pump, the auto fill, your air conditioning, the block heater, and your floor heat are all going to be located in this in the silver leaf. If I change something here on that panel, it will actually they feed off one of those. Another one in the front, I'll show you when we go up front. And then down below here we've got multiplex lighting throughout. So right now it's on the lighting screen, so I can turn all my lights off just by tapping that bottom right button. I can dim, I can dim different zones. Hit my home screen, go back to shades. I can operate all my shades, fan controls, water pumps actually located in here too. So, um, and those, if you change something in this too, they all feed off one another with the multiplex light or multiplex panels throughout the coach um let me grab this okay i mentioned up front here we've got another silver leaf so in this top cabinet here same screen same one that was in the bedroom got all the same features so if i like i said if you change something they all feed, which should feed off one another and then the, you got air ride seats. Um, you do have an air cab, so this whole entire cab is one, it's completely independent from the chassis. So when you're going down the road, it's, they're, they're keeping the air system in the, in the cab. You have air ride seats and you have the air cab, plus you have the rear air ride system on the back. 
makes for a very comfortable ride going down the road. Um, and then up front here, we have, uh, let, me, uh, let me move in here, excuse me, Jody. So it's got a six speed, six speed Allison 4000 series. Um, I mentioned to you the DD13 505 Detroit, 20,000 pound hitch. Um, this panel here is gonna be for your infotainment screen. Um, it's got the uh, Navigo GPS maps, um, backup camera, side cameras, all, everything's programmed into this, Sirius XM satellite radio. Um, up top here, you do have adaptive cruise collision mitigation system that comes with the Supreme Airs. Um, tire pressure monitoring system they do also come with. So a lot of cool features that come with the, the Supreme Airs and uh, we do have availability. Um, if anybody has interest in a Supreme Air or any other product we carry, uh, I'd be happy to work with you. Um, appreciate you watching today. My name is Grant Russell. You can reach me best at uh, grussell at transwest.com or call or text anytime at 720-539-4711. You guys have a great weekend. See you next time.